right, folks, you're watching Downshift Pass. My name is Chad, and thank you for checking out another one of my reviews. Now, if you are new here, welcome to the channel. If you're not new here, welcome back to the channel. And guys, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Today, we're taking a look at this hot 2021 Acura TLX A-Spec. Now Acura introduced this all new TLX for the 2021 model year. And when I say all new, I'm talking a brand new bespoke platform. I'm talking brand new double wishbone suspension. So many great goodies that they included on this car to make it what it is today. And I was very excited to get my hands on it and see if it lives up to the hype. Acura says this is the beginning of them getting back to their sporting roots. So let's see if they uh, did a good job on that. So of course we're gonna take a look at the car inside and out. We're also gonna do an audio test, and trust me, trust me, trust me, you wanna stick around for that, and the drive. But first, let's start off with the styling. Now starting up front, you're gonna notice the TLX is lower and wider. And let's just take a look at this chiseled hood here. I think it looks really strong, really muscular, really nice. As it comes down into this grill, Acura calls this the Diamond Pentagon Grill. I don't think they did the greatest job of hiding that radar cruise control in the grill, but I mean, it does not look horrendous. And as we take a look at the headlights here, this is a four lamp jeweled eye headlight, all LED of course, and then you have your LED turn signal as well as an LED daytime running light. And specific to the A-Spec, you have LED fog lights down below as well. Overall, I think it looks really good, really strong. And Acura did a really good job on the styling of this vehicle. Now, as we move along to the side here, I wanna focus on on these wheels. Now these wheels are specific to the A-Spec. They are a 19 inch wheel, believe it or not, no matter how small they look to you or me. It sits on a 255 40 series tire. And to be honest, I think it's the weakest link styling wise of this vehicle. It just could be bigger. It could look better. It could have a little bit more character to it. And then it's in this dark gray color just not my favorite. Now, as we move along to the side of the car, you have your A-Spec badging. And then on the rear view mirror here, you do have your turn signals as well. And stepping back from the vehicle, I love this nice character line that you see here. It almost gives it an hourglass shape on this vehicle. But overall, I just love the way that it looks. Now, this color is called Apex Blue. And in my opinion, it's the only way to get your A-Spec TLX. The color is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, as we step along to the rear here, specific to the Apex, Again, is this nice large spoiler. I love the design of it. It looks very grown up, very what this car is. Taking a look at the tail lights here. This is an LED tail light as well as an LED turn signal, which looks really, really good. You have your A-Spec badging, TLS badging as well. And as we come down below, you do have your dual outlet exhaust here. And speaking of exhaust, let's go ahead and take a listen. Right, folks it's your turn to sound off in the comments what'd you think about the sounds that this tlx makes i will say two things i think they could have been a little bit more aggressive on is that dual outlet exhaust and the noises that it make at least on the outside for the a spec they could have made it a little bit more aggressive like they did the styling but hey now if you like the way that this car sounded go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you loved it hit that subscribe button as well as that thumbs up and if you think it could have sounded better hit all of them just so you can be notified when i post a new video with a better sounding system System. Now, overall, I think this car is styled beautifully. I think Acura did a great job of the look of it. Definitely one of my favorites in the segment. So kudos to Acura because this is spot, spot on. But guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the trunk. Now you do have a couple of different ways you can open the trunk. A button on the inside, a button on the key or with the key in your pocket. There's a black button here. You just push that 
and it pops completely open. It is not a power trunk, but it will open all the way. Now you do have 13.5 cubic feet of space back here, which is pretty average for its class. And then down below you have an air repair kit. There is, there is not a spare tire on the vehicle. It does have a 60-40 rear folding seat. You just pull these hands either side and then you're able to push that down below. But guys, let's go ahead and take a look at what's under the hood. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pop the hood to the TLX A spec. It is a strut assisted hood. And for the 2021 model year, Acura did away with the V6 engine for the regular TLX. Now standard on the TLX is this direct injected two liter four cylinder turbocharged powertrain. And it does have VTEC guys that delivers 272 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 280 pound feet of torque at 1,600 RPM. It is paired to their popular 10 speed automatic transmission and does zero to 60 in a little under seven seconds. Now gas mileage for the engine is rated at 22 in the city, 31 on the highway and 25 combined. It does take premium gas and I've been averaging about 23 miles per gallon, but I am a very spirited driver here. And I can't wait to talk a little bit more about what this engine does in the drive. But for now, let's go ahead and hop to the inside. All right, folks, so stepping into the back of the Acura TLX, you get 34.9 inches of leg room back here. I'm 5'8", and I do have the driver's seat in my seating position. Knee room is okay, and you do have space down below to put your feet if you need to slide it under a little bit, but I'm pretty comfortable. Great headroom as well. Taking a look at the door here, you have nice mixed materials. This is hard plastic here. Then you have some soft materials as well as leather. And then on the speaker grill, it's a really nice metal looking material, which I love. Now you do have seat back pockets as well. Two vents back here. Just take a look at these red Milano leather seats with the black suede inserts. It looks really, really awesome. You do have contrasting stitching as well on the headrest as well as the seats and also a three person headrest armrest with two cup holders and a nice storage space to put a phone or something but overall it's a relatively comfortable place to be one more thing i forgot to add look at these speakers in the ceiling with this 17 speaker audio system four of those are in the ceiling two in the back so i think that's really really neat but guys let's go ahead and hop to the front now getting into the tlx this is acura's key for the vehicle here has a lock unlock trunk release as well as your panic button and then on the back just the Acura logo and it says driver one or driver two which I think is neat for some reason now if you want to unlock the car you just put your hand behind the handle unlocks if you want to lock it these three grooves here will lock it back up but let's go ahead and hop inside the TLX a spec and let's take a look at this cool startup sequence here now that's when you shut the now that's when you shut the door when you cut the car on it does that nice little sequence there which is really neat now, now coming along to the door here again the materials are a mixed bag this is a little harder plastic then you have some nice patterned material here and down below you have a softer black leather and then this red leather where your arm touches is really soft of course you have one touch up and down window for front as well as back and then on the side here is your buttons that you normally don't use all the time your trash control parking sensors the Acura watch system and everything else taking a look at this gorgeous steering wheel you do have paddle shifters back here which feel really really nice they're not metal or anything but they look good and they feel good and its steering wheel is absolutely beautiful it's the perfect thickness it's not too thick it's not thin at all you have nice red stitching it is leather and perforated leather down below which kind of gives me that old school Acura feel you do have your ASPET logo down below. It is flat bottom and on the side, it has kind of a flatter area as well. Now you do have a bunch of buttons on the left side as well as the right side. It's a little confusing to be honest, not my favorite thing about the car, uh, but your volume controls, you can cut the stereo off, so a power button, which is really weird for some reason. Um, and then your cruise control, lane centering and all of that here. Now in the middle here, you do have a seven inch digital display. Um, you would think it would be full on electronic, but I actually love the way these gauges look it kind of is reminiscent of the old rsx so with this being the a spec i can kind of see why they did that a little throwback there coming along to the center stack here this is a 10.2 inch system which acura calls their true touchpad and it has absolute positioning meaning this is where it's controlled so no matter where i touch on here it corresponds on the screen so if i want to be on the left side i just touch toward the left and then you can kind of swipe and see what it does or i could just touch and I love the noises that it makes. 
pretty neat noises. Now I will say this takes a lot of getting used to and even if you do get used to it, it's not the most intuitive system. I think Acura should just bring back a touch screen because this is not touchscreen, believe it or not. And with it sitting so far back, it looks kind of small, actually. It could be larger. I know Genesis is putting 14 inch screens in their cars and these screens are getting larger and larger. So Acura might need to update that pretty soon here. Now, as far as materials go again, everything that you see in touch is a really nice material. I love the red stitching here, but then down below is this hard plastic, which is really random, but this is soft. And then you of course have that pattern material here as well. All of your climate controls here, you do have driver as well as passenger climate controls coming down below. You have heated as well as ventilated seats. This is not the volume button. This is actually your dynamic mode. And take a look when you put it in sport. Nice, fun little anime material. That's if you put it in normal, and that is if you put it in comfort. I'm gonna throw it back to sport because that's where I'm gonna be driving. Then your 10-speed automatic transmission is controlled here. You have your reverse, and there is your reverse camera. It does have trajectory as well as sensors back there, so it'll beep and everything. And then you do have different angles to choose from. So if you go down, this is gonna be your wide angle here. This is gonna be your, I'm, having a hard time with this touchpad. This is gonna be your standard angle, and then this is from the top down, and it does have rear traffic alert that you could cut on and off as well. I do wish it was the full screen, but on this side is where your sensors are showing on the car, and on the left side is the camera. I think it still could be the whole screen, but you know, what do I know? And coming down below, you do have the true touchpad system here, and then your volume as well as your tuning buttons here. Now, this looks like it could be a transmission or something out of an Audi, but it's actually just a place to put your hand so i'm happy that they included a nice um, soft leather material here to put your hand two cup holders as well and then you do have a wireless charger as well and then in here you do have nice storage compartment i love that it has the rubber flooring here so things won't rattle around but overall it is an amazing looking interior this red milano leather is beautiful these black suede inserts kind of aid in the niceness of it all of course you do have a one touch sunroof up above but other than that, guys, let's go ahead and go for a drive. All right, folks, setting out here in the 2021 Acura TLX A Spec Edition. Of course, I'm going to go over the drive, talk about it a little bit, and then make sure you stay toward the end when I do the audio test. Trust me, you are going to want to stick around for that. I'm really excited I was able to get my hands on this vehicle. I had so many expectations, very, very high expectations for this car. And I'm just gonna start up front and be up front with you guys. It's it's not what it seems, especially in the a spec guys. I think I was expecting something a little bit more sporting, uh, but we'll definitely get into that when I get onto the highway and especially these acceleration runs. Now, the car definitely feels very composed in its normal setting. Right now I have the drive or the dynamic mode in its normal mode. You have the option of comfort, normal as well as sport. I have it in its normal mode and I'm gonna keep it there for now. And when I get on the highway, I'll go ahead and put it in the sport mode. Alright, so we're going to get a little merge action getting onto the highway here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this dynamic mode into the sport mode and the transmission in the sport mode as well. And the car instantly becomes a lot more aggressive. I mean, Acura did a really great job with making this thing sound like a six cylinder. It is a two liter four cylinder engine. Again, 272 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque. Um, it moves it along pretty well. It definitely feels a little less than 272 horsepower. It actually feels a little underpowered, if you ask me. This is only the front wheel drive version, so I can only imagine the super handling all wheel drive version um, is going to feel a little bit more weighted down because of that additional weight that it would possess. But with the dynamic mode and the sport setting, um, this car doesn't have adaptive suspension or anything or adaptive dampers. 
The only thing it really changes is going to be the transmission setting. As you can see, it's holding the gear right now. It just went down. Um, and then the throttle mapping gets a lot more aggressive. It will hold the gear for a much longer time. Highway compliance feels really, really nice. Um, it's a lot more quiet than I anticipated it being. You know, Honda's Acura products usually are known for their higher road noise, but they did a really good job of isolating this cabin from the road. However, another thing that I think the Acura isolated this car from is the driver. It just, the looks of it give you one thing. The drive of it is completely, completely different. I have the transmission in sport mode. I also have the dynamic mode in sport mode, and I'm gonna mash on the gas and just watch how long it takes to downshift. I mean, that's a good second, second and a half, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things is a really long time, especially when in the world of dual clutch transmissions and everything else. Now, if I put the dynamic control back to normal and put it in regular drive mode, I mean, it's unbelievable how long it takes. I'm gonna mash it now. I mean, it's almost laughable how long this transmission takes. I'm not sure if Acura did that on purpose. I don't think that it's complete turbo lag. It literally just feels like it's engineered completely wrong. I mean, I'm looking for something a little bit more sporty um, to kind of go along with the characteristics of the car, but it's just not there. It's just not there. Now going into this turn here, I'm gonna downshift with the paddles. It's not too quick to downshift, but let's see what we have. Lots of tire squeal, lots. Oh no. Those tires wanna scream at me as soon as you do anything dramatic in the car. Oh. I, I really wasn't expecting that. I'm hoping that the all-wheel drivers be able to do a little bit better. The best way I can describe the handling of this car is it's almost like the car, the front end just doesn't know what the back end is doing. The front end feels like it wants to plan itself. The back end feels like it wants to squirrel around. Take this out manual mode. The back end feels like it wants to squirrel around a little bit. It just feels like they're disconnected for some reason. And then as you're steering, you feel a little bit disconnected. There's not a lot of road feel. You kind of just going along with what the car is doing. And it's like you're at the mercy of what the tires can do. I'm sure this car could use a lot more aggressive tire than the uh, Potenza S on it right now. A little disappointing if you ask me. There's not too much of a delay with the uh, paddle shifters here. But like I said, in a world of dual clutches, this is almost laughable. I'm a little confused on Acura's positioning um, with their cars. I know they combined the ILX as well as the TL to create the TLX. So you kind of have something the size of say a BMW 5 Series, more along the price points of a 3 Series. Um, and it's supposed to have a performance of a mixture of both. And the performance is just lacking. I, I, I hate to sound like I'm complaining about the car, but I was really kind of expecting just so much more uh, from this car. Acura says this car will do zero to 60 in a little under seven seconds. So let's go ahead and test that theory out. I have the transmission in sport mode, the dynamic mode in sport mode as well. I'm gonna brake boost it and here we go. not bad all right guys so the moment you all have been waiting for the stereo system in this car is an ELS tuned is an ELS studio 3d audio system apparently it's tuned by a Grammy award-winning uh, producer his name escapes me right now but I'll definitely go ahead and put it on the screen boom and this stereo system has 17 speakers 17 speakers it has four in the ceiling and it comes together 
pretty pretty well so i'm going to go ahead and play it and uh you guys let me know what you think at the same time i'm going to cut on the acura watch which is their system their cruise control their uh, radar cruise control system so we can kind of see how the car sees the road self corrects steers and all of that stuff brakes accelerates so we'll do all that at once but without further ado let's go ahead and get started folks and what do you think about the audio system in this 2021 TLX A spec I'm gonna be completely honest with you this is the best audio system I have ever reviewed on my channel now I have been doing this for a little less than a year well for less than a year um, so I haven't had you know the Bentleys and the Rolls Royces and things of that nature but this stereo is a one I mean it's phenomenal in its highs its lows there is zero distortion no matter how loud i cut it you can cut the bass up the treble down up whatever you need to do to it i mean i threw a lot at this car when i first heard it i was like you know what let me give it a workout i threw a lot of different types of music at this car and it handled it with ease it's a truly awesome system and it's standard on the a spec so you get a 17 speaker audio system in your acura if i had to zonk it for one thing i wish the volume could go a little bit higher um, but I think they keep the volume to where it is max to where it is so it doesn't distort and it still sounds crystal clear no matter what you're listening to if you're an audiophile or if you're a person like me who just appreciates a really good stereo in a car this is for sure the option to get so start with the a spec and going up you'll have uh, this audio system this front end and back end is just not connected you can tell the car can do it but i don't feel confident doing it it's really weird it's weird the brakes are really strong though and just rolling into my final thoughts here guys on the 2021 acura tlx this car is my feelings are a mixed bag kind of like the materials in this car um, the look of it kind of gives you one thing everything that Acura spoke about the vehicle you kind of expect one thing but the complete feel of it all is just not there doesn't necessarily feel super composed in the corners the luxury could be a little bit more elevated I really don't know if Acura was looking more toward luxury or sport it does neither the best 
um, and it, it does everything just okay. But I think in the company that this car is in, okay is just not good enough. So, you know, I mean, they do have the TLS Type S, which will probably answer a lot of the questions I have as far as the power and transmission goes. Um, but the luxury side of things, I don't think it would be any different, but that's more of a hardcore sports sedan. This particular one, I think is meant to be more luxury and with this injected sport look, it just doesn't have the injected sport feel. And for that, I'm really not sure who I would recommend this car to. I mean, Honda has the Honda Accord Touring. Uh, and if you get that with the two liter engine, you get something faster. You get pretty much the same feature set. The only thing you're gonna be missing is uh, the great audio system. And it's gonna be a lot more quieter than any Honda that you know I've ever driven. But other than that, it, this will be a hard, tough sell, especially for $45,000, unless you just need that luxury name plate. But that is it for my review of the 2021 Acura TLX A-Spec. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that like button if you learned something new today. And hit that notification bell if you want to continue learning new stuff. Uh, also follow me on Instagram, TikTok. You can see all behind the scene footage of what we're doing over at Downshift Have. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.